This object terror two-parter. It's not good. Now I'm gonna be talking about the two-parter of object terror. Now object terror needs no introduction when it comes to what it is. It's very infamous in the object community. I mean I think unlike level up. It's more infamous for the content than like three characters. This show is terrible. But I'm gonna talk about the two-parter since it's the most that happens. Episode 1 and 2 have literally nothing. Episode 3 has a good challenge. And episode 4 has a couple of shock value like now there's swearing and blood. But that's nothing compared to episode 5 which has. Well why don't I just show you. Think what? <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh yes. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Now this is just two examples. I could show more but I'm not in the mood to. I think what makes this episode different is the challenge. The challenge is to survive from this monster. And it seems like a decent challenge idea. You could make it interesting but it's just the blood. Like I would say Fart is the only one and Road Sign are the only ones not to die with exaggerated blood. This is the last episode since episode 6 never came out. And probably never will. I think what Object Terror did wrong was try to be edgy. S'mores. Okay so he is this character who wants to. Collect demons cause the other demons are mocking him. I'm gonna let the show explain it. Dear Diary, today I've got a new job. I now work for this reality show named Object Terror. But little do they know, I didn't get the job for the money. No. That's not even close to what I came here for. I came here for the souls. I have come up here to get all the souls of the contestants to prove to Satan that I am really worth hiring. I am tired of all the other demons mocking me and always saying that I'm useless. But now, the time has come. Where's that? Damn fourth chaos emerald. Yeah, it's basically S'more is trying to get souls. And he tricks Mint. Now Mint is portrayed as a dumb idiot. And Arch. I literally can't tell your personality is besides bootleg nickel. And I think it's interesting how S'more is literally is in this episode and never again. Honey and like computer don't do much. Honey literally only does one thing and that's get the monster. So they pull an O Russian. It's the perfect player. Uh, if you say so. If we get arrested, I'm blaming you. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention who went. There's a paint bottle and magazine. Paint bottle did literally nothing important and the most magazine did was um. She basically was a knockoff match. And unlike someone like Salt who has a couple of things that make her not like match. Magazine really doesn't. She's better than paint bottle that's for sure. What happened to my summoner ball? You seriously lost your summoner ball? Yes, also I'm very positive I brought it with me. I checked everywhere. This has a musicals in the show but I legit can't tell if they're meant to be funny or what. I clearly can't tell. There's only two thank goodness. But anyways back to the challenge. Now I'll say the others just walk around the woods doing nothing. And the monster. Or Minotaur basically kills mostly everyone. It kills Biscuit cause for some reason. El Nueldo Spider and Popeye's Biscuit. I don't get it. But that's really the gist. Basically survive from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. from this monster. 
minute or thing. That's it. It's no twist. Whipped cream and beep boop find a key but printer says that's not fair but why was it there? I guess to waste your time. Yeah this episode being two parts doesn't make sense. It's mostly filler and adds up to 53 minutes. This thing is longer than BFB 30 and Teapot 2. It didn't need to be a two-parter. Most of these two-parters are filler. Least with Kick the Bucket they use the filler for character arcs and character development since. There's none of that in Object Terror. I guess the closest is Carpet getting a girlfriend but that's it. That happened in episode 2 and never brought up. Now the kill count. Now, let's show the kills. Now after all that. We got that out of the way. Most of the contestants die. Coffee cup dies by recycling bin. I would say stapler, whipped cream, beer and trowel are the only ones to live. Which is that's it. Mint and s'mores as well. Okay not mint or arch. Recycling bin survives. And the spider and robot chicken survive. The twist here is the minotaur is not actually evil and is named Chris and worked at a cinema before he was knocked out. They never explained why he was on a murderous rampage. They never explain or explain anything after that. My guess is they fed him lean. I mean lean has an after effect on people. Anyways, so the tug of war trains win the challenge all over again. And all that. Finally this two-parter that didn't need to be a two-parter is done. I'll talk about what happens next. What kind of shit ending is that? Nobody can touch my sweat. Now I'm gonna just talk about this episode is not good of course, it's edgy. Some of the jokes don't make sense. Now Object Terror does have a planned episode 6 that would be the final episode but that never came out cause. Well, this episode was so horrible, like Minotaur, S'mores. S'mores seems like an edgy character. And the blood, don't do this. But this episode was meh, a meh. The joke about horror movies and all that were going in the woods and making out and beer and trowel do that for some reason. I don't see why they do it. And Stapler and Carpet just mess around doing nothing. I wish this episode had less filler and more action cause well it would make it more interesting. Like maybe Stapler and Carpet just mess around with the other teams and try to get them kill and run away. Or something. I know what this episode is similar to. That one episode of Total Drama where they must avoid the evil crazy man with a chainsaw and a hook and despite Total Drama not having the psycho killer murdering everyone but yeah, this episode is not good. 